Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will design a necklace um, using these beads. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh, focal bead, very pretty one. As you guys can see, a very pretty focal bead I'm gonna use to make this necklace and six of the eight millimeter glass pearls in a peach color. Peach color is the color of the year, pantom color of the year. So that will be appropriate and I am also going to use the spacer beads um, these are I think um, like uh, it has that stones round as you guys can see okay roundels uh, crystal roundels you can say these are the spacer beads that I'm gonna use but I'm just gonna use only two and I really like this storage bottle uh, very very cute and you can exactly see what you have and the size is also perfect not so big not so small you can still hold a couple of them and for that I'm gonna use a seven strand bead stringing wire um, excuse me okay there we go so I already have some beads here but I'm not going to use this beads because this is a way to contrast. I'm going to use some lemon of seed beads in the peach color as well. Um, so the same color I'm going to use but you can use a contrast color if you want. I have already loaded these beads uh, to my wire and this is a 7 strand bead string wire in this antique bronze color like bronze color I wouldn't say antique bronze it's just bronze or you can say a dull gold kind of okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys what I have already made and how I strung the beads so this is one of the necklace that I made uh, as you guys can see I used a, a brushed gold kind of a coin bead with some kundan stones on top and some spacer beads and this six millimeter um, reconstituted how light beads something like that so these are how light turquoise beads in six millimeter size and then I use lemon or seed beads and the bead string wire I finished it with a split ring and a lobster claw um, I always finish my necklace with a split ring I rarely use um, jump ring because the thought process that this wire is very thin and it can slip off the jump ring just uh, <laughs> doesn't sit well with me so I always try to use a split ring wherever it is possible uh, for the closure with the lobster claw and I feel the lobster claw even though it is the staple or you know the ordinary the normal thing that to use the clasp uh, but I feel that this is much more safer than the toggle clasp and all other clasps i feel that this is safer so i use that and you can see how cute this uh, necklace is i really like this and then here we go i have one more um, i made one more the same one but i used a different six millimeter bead i think this is sort of a turquoise i'm not so sure um, it's man-made but I have used the spacer and then here I didn't use this brushed gold bead I just did it simply with just this finding because this was not needed in this the focal is a ceramic bead that I used as you guys can see with the kundan stones on top you can use any um, focal you want at the center and then to add it I have uh, added this brushed star burst gold beads eight millimeter on the sides and then added these beads just the roundel I just used only two and as you guys can see the difference the length is a little bit longer but I mean this is six millimeter and this is I think probably 12 millimeter and this is definitely this is I think um, uh, 16 or 18 and this will be 22 millimeter is what I believe um, I also made some in the blue color 
color and in this I used the oval bead in the center as a focal as you guys can see everything is finished with lobster claw clasp this is a 12 by 6 millimeter lobster claw clasp and a split ring that I used um, only the pendant or the main focal beads and the side beads there is a little change I use lamino seed beads for the sides as you guys can see the color combination is very pretty and this one is a navy blue with some kundan stones on star on top of it and it's an oval bead so that gives a different look and I did the same with a slightly different color um, you know oval bead a blue but a different blue but also I changed the 8 millimeter bead these are 6 millimeter these are 8 millimeter and I did bunch of them in 6 millimeter as well see this the same one and you can see the size difference suddenly it becomes small I used an emerald color oval bead here then finally I made this one right here um, that's a similar to this six millimeter and this blue color is gorgeous see this I went with the same color pink a pink a reddish color bead the same color blue and then for these I used different beads um, that's like that metallic bead that you get there is a iridescent color um, so I used some a blue more bluish here with some purples in it and these ones are more green blue and gold in it so I used um, for these two colors I use that and for this I use this so this is what I may I'm going to show you guys exactly how we are going to make it So I finished stringing the six and a half inches. Now we shall look into how we are going to finish this necklace. So now I have my crimp tubes and split ring. Split ring is like a key ring, as you guys can see here. So that's a split ring. A lobster claw clasp, which is 12 by 6 millimeter. And then I'm adding my crimp tube. Okay. And then uh, my lobster claw coming back through my crimp tube. I don't know if the seed beads will go on top of two strands, but you can try. Actually, they are. So that's good. So push it all the way. The natural tendency of the wire is to crisscross inside the tube but make sure it's flat and I'm gonna flat crimp it. I'm gonna make sure it's nicely crimped. Give it a tug and see because you won't don't want that to be opened, right? Two 
two beads went through but then the third one is not going so I'm gonna snip off this excess cord as close to the bead as possible okay now move all the beads down see if you like the pattern and everything you cannot change it later so now is the time if you want then go ahead and snip this off leaving a one and a half inch tail then take another crimp tube and your split ring come back the same thing again go through a couple of beads if you can if not that's okay you can snip off the excess wire it's not going through it's a little bit tough okay try moving this up just one bead that's enough so hold this end of the cord with your pliers hold the split ring and pull that way the slack will be off always keep it in a u format never put it straight and crimp because you will not have that little bit of a breathing space uh, for it to not be stiff so once you have that see there's a little bit of a space which i really wanted to have i'm going to go ahead and crimp that nicely and give it a tug and then take your wire cutters and hold it as close as possible just pull that and you will have a clean cut right there our necklace is done and ready see how fast it is with the bead spinner i'm really loving it especially when you're making a bunch of items for you know gifts and uh, everything i really like how this turned out to be and i hope you guys like it too i'll bring in all the other ones that i have sorry i bumped the camera but i feel that this is really very cute all we did is bead stringing it is not even anything complicated just have a uh, something as a focal and some seed beads leveno seed beads with a lobster claw clasp and a split ring you are good to go i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the uh, bell icon for notification i do upload a couple of times a week thank you so much for watching my videos and stopping by and being there for me i really appreciate it love you